dogs in this apartment building? Jesus Christ! Well, fuck them, I'm gonna record anyway. What's up, bitches? It's your girl, Buffsicky69, and today we're here to play a very interesting little game. Um, that, that is a thing. I guess. It's been out for a couple years, and a lot of people have told me it's a weird-ass motherfucking game. Uh, I'll get back to, uh, uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone next week, which is a weird-ass motherfucking game in an entirely different way. But, uh, this week I decided to take a little break and play some of this game. So without further ado, here is Vranbo. New game. Good, I'm glad it uses an out-of-say feature. Alright, let's go! Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. Ooh. Did I mention this is a horror game? I see my parents. They look happy. They look soulless. They have a present for me. I wonder. It's a cat. So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. Shut up! It's Mr. Midnight! My best friend. My only friend. Better than that fucking dog! We are having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. No way this could go wrong. I really like her a lot. I automatically hate her. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Grace takes good care of me. We are having so much fun. She also has no soul. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. Oh. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Yeah, no shit! Suddenly I hear something. The souls of the damned. It's mom screaming. Oh no. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. They're dead, honey. I go closer. Closer. Oh. Mom? Dad? They are dead. Uh, oh, why, why are you bleeding from your eyes? Oh. Oh, you're a demon child. Okay. I get it. Oh. It's not pretty. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Oh, we're tumbling through the forest now. Oh, oh, Mr. Midnight, protect me, please. You sweet, innocent little kitty who is in no way demonic and evil at all. Ooh. Mr. Midnight. Are you just gonna... Where you going, Mr. Midnight? Oh. Where are you taking me? I don't like this. Friend, please follow my voice. I don't know who's talking. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Oh! Three. Oh, God, I gotta come up with a voice here. Fred, how do you feel? Oh, uh, I feel like dying. Hello? Oh, I gotta, I guess I gotta. I feel like dying. I don't understand why you make me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. My parents are dead! But Covery, don't you get it? My parents are dead! Oh, poor thing. Everything will get better, I promise. Ba um, uh, nonsense. Nonsense. Promise, that's nonsense! You just keep me here. We keep you here so we can take care of you. Hello? Can I... But now I have something for you, friend. What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. Can I adjust this light? Not quite. Why are you 
have to kill me. Okay. There, yeah, that's a little better. Now it's a little more even. All right. It's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Keep forgetting I have to click. This was my mother's purse. Oh, she's so sad. So sad, little girl. Open it. There's something inside. Ooh. Ooh, use. Oh, I can't use this. Maybe I should examine it. Okay. Uh, uh, examine. Dearest friends, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remember that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things, aka the tutorial. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Fred. She is worried about you. I'm worried about me too, buddy. I'm worried too because I'm not crazy and still here. Stop it, you're out of control, young lady. Can I leave now? Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave. Before you do, it is time for your new medicine. Ah, uh, no more medicine. Medicine's stinky and gross. No. Oh. I don't want to try any more medicine. It's called duo tea. It'll make you feel very relaxed. Duo means two. I don't know what that means. Okay. Nurse, we're ready. Oh, no, don't give it to me. I don't want it. Anything new today, Dr. Dean? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, friend, take your medicine. I don't want it! Oh, God. Uh, can I, can I do it? You don't have all day, friend. Take the pills now. Ah, fine. Okay, I took them. I don't feel good. Oh, dear God. Oh. Oh, no. Take her back to her room. That's not good. And, nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Guess what I'm going to do? Take a lot of pills. Yay. Pills make me happy. I can smell colors. There are dolphins flying through the sky on rainbows. Beware, friend. If you leave the house of madness, I have to do this to get this voice. I will hunt you down. Catch you. And bring you back to insanity. Fran, wake up. I guess this is Mr. Midnight's voice. The medicine will help you escape, Fran. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. I love you too, Mr. Midnight. You're a cute kitty. Who's truly not gonna kill me? Chapter one, my sober day. Sounds like a fucking Evanescence lyric. Wake me up inside. Wake me. Okay, I'm done. All right, let's see. Oh, call, call, can we go? Oh, hello, Fran. I'm still here. Hideous place. Can I? I have to get out of here. Can I move? Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go, Fran. Ooh, what's that? Hopefully, this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Is there anything else there? That hand is severed. Okay, that just says all that says. What's over here? Red and Tiny You are hiding from me. That's a lot of pills. I hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Okay, then. Case 25062009150000. Name Fran Bo Dagenhart. Age 10. I'm 10! Gender, female. Why is there an abundance of 10 year old girls? Oh, wait, no. E was 8, wasn't she? E was 8. Fran is 10. Great. Great. All right. History. The patient was found at the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. Oswald! Is Penguin running to this place? Holy shit. This is bad. I gotta get out of here. Uh, the Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. Details omitted. 
of treatment. Dr. Marcel Dearn has tried different medications and all have been canceled because of side effects. The date is July 25th, 1944, approximately. Oh, that's a clown. I will get your nose! I will get it! Thank you, friend. Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. Fran, you seem a little bit weird. Then again, you are 10. Locked. Good reason to get curious. Damn straight. All right, what's this thing? Oh, sweet, sweet melody. One more time. La, la, la. It does the same as before. Huh. Okay. Oh! Holy moly, something fell. Oh, a handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. Let's see what it does. A golden hook that fell from the curtains. Okay. Anything else there? Oh, I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. What's outside? Ooh. I like how her outfit is kind of a straight jacket. That's cool. I like it. It's nice aesthetics. This game has very nice aesthetics, so it looks like I'm not getting out the front. All right. What's over uh, this way? My legs are just fine. Um, I'm not disabled. My legs are just fine. Empty bottle, empty glass, nothing useful. I can't see through this window. Hello, lady? Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. Uh, how long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. That's a long fucking time. Uh, was it the medicine? Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you are not taking it anymore. Uh, something happened. Oh, I forgot. Something happened. See, you are nothing but trouble. What is it? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Oh, I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. I guess the nurse would never let me touch anything. Nurse, something happened. Oh, I guess I have to tell her. See, you are nothing but trouble. What is it? Uh, broke the curtains. I tried to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Accidentally, I have to fix this. Follow me. Can I look at her desk? I'm curious, yes, but the nurse is still inside this room. Okay. She would just go crazy if I touch anything. I better go. Oh, okay. Okay, fine. I'll go talk to her. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? What's a hook? I don't know. I'm Ted. Hi, everybody. Uh, well, I have to go and find something to fix these little. Girl. Oh, is that the best? Is that the best you can do? Is that the best you can do? Come on! Come on! Hit me! Hit me her! Hit me! Hit me, bitch! Okay, never mind. Alright. You go find something to fix this. I'm gonna look at your desk. Okay. What's this? Uh, violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe de de deficits in some abilities, such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Drawing of the brain, frontal lobe, motor cortex, sensory cortex, uh, parietal lobe, occipital lobe, and temporal lobe. Okay. Let me see. Traumas. Hmm. Trauma is a word the doctor loves to say. Hee hee. That brain looks like a turtle. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Gladys something, uh, patient named Franbo Dagenhart. Uh, the patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, uh, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been, uh, social for three days now. Some kids have come around and as asked about her and where she would when she would come to play. Uh, duotine 8H. 8H. Remember that. 8H. 8H. Okay. Oh, I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Excellent. You. Okay, what's in here? I wonder where, the, I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. I'll leave it as it was. I really need Get out of this place. Okay, so, so I have part of the code. 8H is part of the code, clearly. Um, let me just double check to make sure there's nothing else here. 8H, okay. Um, okay. Let me look at this. My pills 
codes are inside and now I have to crack the code. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, so H is eight. Okay, okay, I get it. My my search is not done yet. That's not half the code. It's only a quarter of the code. All right. Uh, hi. Who are you? Hello, Phil. Phil. Hello. Uh, know any way out? You do know the way out, right? There are many ways out. Everything's locked. Yes, but you know that everything is locked. Indeed, but the office is the key. What do you mean? The office, what do you mean? I saw the doctor read a secret code. A secret code? All right, I already know this is just in. Secret, open the yellow door. He doesn't want me to tell you. Oh, tell me, please. Who? From him. Oh, 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 oh. oh! There's Mr. Goatman! All doors are closed, you are preserved my games. And nobody will help you escape. <laughs> oh, makes me yawn. Leave me alone, I hate you! Well, that was a time. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. Same here, kid. Same here. No, I wouldn't let the monster stop me. Did you find the doctor's code yet? It's in the office. Okay. Oh, oh, a secret box. A little box, it's open. A key! This will certainly open something. I bet ya a million bucks it's to this drawer! Yay! And there is something inside. What is it? Oh! Skeleton, my hair clip. I should give it a good use. Use hair clip with, 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 with me. Oh, well, not me. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm sure that will come in handy later at some point. Probably to open this door. Oh, Mr. Wooden Horse, are you having a good time? Back and forth, the trip of our lives. Yeehaw! I used to have a blue dress like yours. I can't play with you now. I'm a very, I'm a very secret mister. I used to. Okay. All right, let's see. Uh, case one, two, one, one, four, five, five, three, six. Fillmore Bronstone, age eight, gender male. History, the patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. Boys developed paranoid behavior, paranoia, and I had diagnosed. Treatment, daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Theron. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Okay, then. If I sit down, I will eventually get up, so what's the point? To be seated or not to be seated, that is the question. If I, okay, yeah. All right, let's see if I can get this to work with that. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Oh, maybe I can combine this with that. No. What's in, what's in here? Any patches to cure wounds? What's that? Oh, it's a picture of my family. Oh, so cute. And Mr. Midnight. Okay. So... So, combine with nothing, of course, what was I thinking? Clearly, I need to combine this with something. This was, that just isn't, <laughs> no. Um, all right.